So a no-fault divorce is a divorce where you don't have to prove fault in order to get divorced. That's kind of an interesting thing because it's not at all what people think. People tend to think, at least the people we talk to, that a fault divorce or a no-fault divorce is really about whether or not someone gets more or less of the assets based upon like their bad behavior, let's call it, right? Abandoning their spouse. If I prove that you abandoned me, I get more of the assets. If you prove that I committed adultery, you get more of the assets. It's actually not what no fault divorce and fault divorce means at all. Really what it refers to is what you need to prove in order for a Connecticut judge to have the authority to grant a divorce. So let's play this out. The reason the vast majority of divorces in Connecticut aren't aren't fault divorces. The reason the vast majority of divorces in Connecticut are no fault divorces is because most people who file for divorce actually want to be divorced at the end of the divorce. In order to get a no fault divorce in Connecticut, in other words, in in order for a judge to have the authority to order that divorce, when it's a no-fault divorce, on no-fault divorce grounds, all that needs to happen is one of the two spouses says that the marriage has broken down irretrievably with no hope of reconciliation. That's it. You don't have to prove that someone did something bad, was at fault, in order for the court to grant your divorce. 